Hi everyone, to make the strawberry what you're going to need to do is have the petal cone die and cut out three petal cones in real red and then um, run it through your polka dot textured impressions folder but make sure that all of your tabs are on the same side so that you're not running into the problem if you go like this then you're not going to have anywhere to hook it onto this piece so the third petal cone or a one of your petal cones you're just going to need one of them so just go ahead and cut it in half and use just the one piece fold up all of your score lines and get your sticky strip out and put sticky just like you would any other petal cone, go ahead and put the sticky strip on all of the tabs. After you get the sticky strip on all the tabs, of course, take the red protectant part off of your sticky strip and place them together so that it'll close up your box. But don't. After you take this red protectant off, go ahead and line everything up just like so. But don't close it up yet completely. Don't undo this last piece yet. Go ahead and just set that aside for a moment. So then you need three chocolate chip or early espresso, whatever chocolate you want to use, um, color for the chocolate to go on your strawberry. I'm using chocolate chip. I've cut out three of these and again just one of them cut in the center so that you because you only need actually five panels. So the one that I cut in half I actually cut in a wavy line and I'm going to put that one, fold these ones in half, put this one on top so that it'll all match unless you don't want it to then you can just go ahead and do it however you like and then just cut around it using that for my template toss that to the side and there's my wavy one and now I have all three of them that are wavy now one tip I'm going to share with you whichever way you put your tabs on your strawberry you're going to want your tabs for these to go the same way and you're going to want your one, like I had my single one on the end here, you're going to want your single one on the, I'm going to want my single one on the same end. That way everything will match up properly. If you flip them around and have your tabs on the opposite sides, then it won't match up and it'll be all kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and fold all my score lines. Put all my sticky strip on everything. There we are. And then just, just like the strawberry, take everything apart or take the red part off excuse me and put everything together just line it up on the seam lines there we are now if any of this doesn't match up like I have a little bit that doesn't match here and a little bit hanging off you can always go back and re-trim it just however you would like it to look and that one I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave sticky strip likes me today. So after you get it all done, everything should match up with all of your seam lines and everything should match up just fine. Now after you've got all that finished, flip this over and put some more sticky strip right on the tab at the end on the back side some on the tab here and then just put it ever so often like on the seam lines or the score lines because this is how you're going to get your chocolate to stick to your strawberry 
You can always use Tombow or something like that, but I don't want to sit there and hold it and wait for it to dry on my video, so I'm just doing it this way. Because this will definitely stay. There we go, all peeled off. After you have it all peeled off, go ahead and take this piece off of your strawberry. Lay this down ever so careful because we know how unforgiving sticky strip is. Lay that down. Take the red protectant off of your last tab of your chocolate and then close it all up. Sorry, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want it to get stuck. There we are. And there's a strawberry for you. Now, you'll want to close everything up. So what you'll need to do is get your crocodile so you can use it for a punch or any hole punch will do. I'm going to use the smaller one that's on here and I'm just going to punch a hole in every single one of these. Then for the top of this, to hide the opening, I went ahead and I cut out two of the largest flowers from the Fun Flowers die in Lucky Limeade. And to get this hole in the center of these, you can either use your map pack, this thing from your map pack, and the hammer with the old eyelet tool um, and hammer a hole right in the center. However, I don't want to do that since I'm on the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently, in between two petals, fold this in half, and I'm going to use my crocodile, and I'm going to punch a hole in it. Whoops, maybe a little bit bigger of a hole. There we go. So, and then, after you get those punched, go ahead and lift them up a little bit. And you can even take a sponge dauber and your Lucky Limeade ink and um, sponge these, which is what I'm going to do. In just a second, after I get this one punched, getting a little ahead of myself. So there's that hole. Okay, so I have my Lucky Limeade ink pad. I'm going to open that up with my sponge dauber. Just go ahead and get that all nice and inked up, and then I'm just going to lightly sponge all the petals on these flowers. And so I don't have to pain you to sit here and watch me. I will go ahead and stop the camera and be back as soon as I am. Okay, for this top flower, all I'm doing is I'm laying it down on my grid paper and then just running the um, sponge dauber right over the top of it. That way it doesn't look completely messy and crazy. Okay, now that I'm done with that, close up my ink pad and I have some Lucky Limeade Ruffled Ribbon which I absolutely love the ruffled ribbon. It's so cute. And I'm going to take some of this out, more like a whole lot of it out. Cut that off. And I'm going to bend all of these petals up. So I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to pull it through all these holes. Pull it all the way through so I'm not constantly yanking it.
and you're just weaving it through all of them. And you may need to see how it's getting all jumbled up. You may need to trim it a couple of times. Just make sure that your last one that you do comes through the top. Pull it all tight. Okay. And then what I'm going to do to make sure that it stays the way that I want it to, and I, it's got to stay on center to hold the leaves on, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it underneath this one. Okay, so that way I have these two that are separate. Then take both of them, trim them up if you need to. That's why I said pull out a lot. And you want to put the top one on first, and then the second one. and pull it on tight. Make sure that it's going in the shape that you want it to go. And as soon as it's shaped how you want it, which mine keeps going kind of awkward like, there we go. After you get it all done, push it down flat and tie your bow. Now you can either leave this, these long or you can cut them off short. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine a little bit long. But there's is your chocolate covered strawberry and you can inside you can put treats, chocolates. This is fun for any summertime party or just summertime anything. So I hope you have a great day and have fun creating. Thanks for joining me. Bye.